Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I'm really excited for today's video. I'm going to show some of my pansexual cuties some some love and support. This is the, I think, fifth look in my Pride series this month where I am doing looks based on different flags in the LGBTQ plus community. In case you are new to this series, I am featuring small artists in this community down below in my description box. Please make sure to check them out and also give me suggestions if you want to, I don't know, put somebody else in my list or even yourself if you're a small artist in future description boxes in the series. I'm also including the link to donate to the Trevor Project down below. It is an organization, basically they help with suicide prevention in teens in the LGBTQ plus community. It's an amazing organization and I really wanted to keep them in my description box for these videos as well. I really enjoyed doing this look. The pansexual flag is so bright and colorful and so much fun. I've just really enjoyed this series a lot so far. I have, I think, two or three more after this. I want to quickly say I love that you guys are into this series and I'm trying my best to do as many flags as possible. And if by the end of the series I did not do your flag, I am so sorry. I am one person. I'm doing the best I can. I have a long, long list. I have sacrificed my scheduled days off of filming and uploading to incorporate more things. So if I don't do your flag, I'm so sorry, but I'm trying my best to do as many as I can. Anyways, if you want to see me put all these colors on my face, let's just move right along. Also, the background's gonna change because I was a nut and forgot to color coordinate my background before I started, so now it's, it's gonna suddenly be different. Anyways, let's move on. All right, hello, wig cat Betty Jean here. I've already done my concealer. I skipped foundation today and I did my cream bronzer, the Milk Makeup Stick. And now we're just gonna move on. I feel like using my Lime Crime blush today instead of that ColourPop one because I've been neglecting my Lime Crime one ever since getting that ColourPop one. This is in the shade Hyperlink. It's kind of a cream to matte formula, so I just take it with my sponge personally and I just kind of start dabbling it around and it's very pigmented. It's so beautiful. I ordered another one of these. I don't remember which shade <laughs> because literally I want all of them. I don't know how I decided which shade to get, but I'm excited to get it. I think I ordered it because the plushies were on sale, like buy one, get one free or something like that. And I'm all about those Lime Crime plushies. They're such a good lip formula. Go in hand with the blush as I do because blush is my favorite. What are you guys up to? Technically, it is Saturday. Technically, if there's something technically about it, it is Saturday night. I actually just filmed my third look for my Suva Beauty block party video, and I didn't have anything else to do, and I don't feel like editing yet, so I'm filming another video, because why not? I've pretty much committed to not having any days off this month, so trying to stay ahead of myself so I can actually get these videos out for you guys. I do still want to take my stick highlighter from ColourPop. This is in the shade Star Bright. I want to get the lightest one of these so bad, but I'm holding off until I can make a larger ColourPop order. I don't want to just order one thing. I love this product though. It's so pretty and it blends so well. I swear any other cream or liquid highlight I've ever used in my day is just a flop. This is absolutely glorious. ColourPop does a great job with their complexion products. Ugh. I still have old mascara under my eyes. I thought I got it all off. I'm just going to quickly set my kind of under eyes and T-zone. I'm just gonna use what's left of the highlight shade in my Contour 101 palette from Pop Beauty. And then we'll move on to the not as boring stuff. This stuff's boring. No one wants to watch me set my face. So that looks sufficient. I want to be pretty blushed for this. So I'm gonna go in with some more powder blushes now. A very bright pink is very prominent on the pansexual flag. So I wanna take Zane from the Saharan Volume 1 palette from Juvia's Place. Tapping in oh so gently because it's oh so pigmented. And just going to start with my nose and work my way around to my cheeks. You know how it goes. Ooh, I always forget how pigmented this is, but it's all good. That's what blending and sponges and all that good stuff is for. <laughs> I went overkill. Oh, I love it. Honestly, I like these looks to look very extra. I like all of my looks to look very extra, so I don't even care. This palette obviously was not meant for someone of my pale complexion, but I'm still... <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so great. <laughs> This is so funny. I'm taking this brush. I basically 
made this brush my blending out my blush brush. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so fantastic. Going to go in with my good old sponge now and start pouncing over everything until it just meshes into the skin just a tad bit more. I cannot speak. It's getting late. It is 9 p.m., which is not late to most people, but my bedtime is roughly 10 to 10.30, so it's getting close to my bedtime, but I'm probably going to edit after I finish this video. I said this before, I don't love baking. It's not my thing, but I do want to bake a little bit just because underneath my blush and bronzer is looking a little, a little too far down my face. So I just want to clean that up a tiny bit. All right, while this sits, I want to go ahead and put on my fake freckles because I can't live without them. This Lime Crime Freckle Pen is my favorite thing of life right now. You'll, no one could take it from me. Just going to pop some across my nose and cheeks. It's my favorite. I need to buy a backup and I'm so against buying backups of makeup products because I feel like it's just such a, almost like a consumerism trick it, to get you to buy more makeup when you really don't need it because how often do you actually go through makeup? Not very. But this is one of those things that I don't know if I ever want to live without, but we'll see. I'm going to play with it for a few weeks, and if I can't put it down for a few weeks straight, then I might go ahead and get a second one. With the brush that I used to blend out my blush, I'm just going to top over that, and then same with my sponge. And now I'm just going to start sweeping away this bake. So now I want to highlight my face, of course. What do I have next to me? I guess I'm just going to use this Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I think I'm going to kind of mix Kitty Cat and Forever Lit. And just highlight my face where I normally would. Top of the cheekbones, nose, chin, all that good stuff. You know, you know how to highlight. Oh, I look so glowy and I love it so, so much. I suppose we can work on our eyes a little bit. I think for this look, I'm going to use my Pinky Rose Trilogy collection, the Exotic Peacock, 80s Baby, and Obsessed. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but I know I'm going to at least use two of them. And we're going to create a look. I don't really have a plan in my head for this one at all, actually. We're just going to kind of see how it goes. I guess I'm going to prime my eyes. This is my Sigma eyeshadow base in Ignite. Just going to pop this on and blend it out with my finger, and I'm not going to set it because I... Don't do that. So I guess I'm just gonna dip into Obsessed first and I'm gonna take 90s Love, that bright pink. And I'm just going to start working that through kind of the outer corner and a little bit through the crease as well. I think I might save the lower lash line for some blue action, so I don't think I'm gonna carry this down underneath that lower lash. I'm just taking this and lightly sweeping and blending it around until the gradient looks the way I want it to. I'm not really going to go in with any other shadows to blend this out because I want this just to look pink. I don't want it to look like a brown pink or a muted pink or anything like that. I want it just to be pink. <laughs> However, I am going to take Party On, that cute yellow, and I'm going to start swirling that a little bit through this front portion of my crease. Give it a little pink lemonade. Kind of a vibe. Dipping into that pink again just a little bit just to re-intensify. Hmm, I know I want some blues on my lid, but I don't know what I want to use. I think I want to do kind of a faux cut crease where I'm not actually cutting the crease with concealer. I'm just going to use a flat brush and my glitter primer and stuff like that to really carve it out. So I'm going to start by taking my next glitter primer, just a little dot of that on my brush. I'm going to start placing that across the lid and just kind of taking that up to where I would cut the crease if I was actually cutting it with concealer. And then I think I'm going to start by dipping into the 80s baby and I want to take Dreamer. It's a really pretty just true blue shimmer. I'm going to start by just taking that right there up against it. Now with that same brush just kind of flipped over, I want to take Joker from the Obsessed palette. I actually don't know if I've ever used this Joker shade. And I want this to go kind of right underneath it. Mm, no, I don't really like that. I'm just going to take Dreamer and kind of go over top of that. I like Dreamer a lot better. Although the fusion of the two is kind of pretty. 
Now I'm just going to kind of start with that pink brush, just kind of smudging this outer corner until it flows just a little bit nicer. I think I actually do want to start smudging that pink under the lower lash. I think I lied earlier. I do, however, think I need a little, little bit of a darker pink, so I'm gonna take a smaller brush, if I can find one. And I wanna take the Baby from the 80s Baby, which I know is a little bit more purple, but I'm just gonna take that just a little bit, just to kind of deepen up that outer area. And I feel like this, in combination with that Hot Hot Pink, is going to be more the shade of pink that I'm looking for. Yeah, that's looking a lot more like what I want. Just going to pounce over this outer corner with my sponge. I'm gonna take Stay Golden from the Obsessed palette. I guess I'm not using the Exotic Peacock at all. But I'm taking Stay Golden to highlight my inner corner. It's a really pretty, just pure yellow shimmer. It's so stinking cute. I feel like these colors are pretty much what I want, you know? I think it's really pretty. And it's kind of hitting those tones that I wanted on the mark. I like this, this play on colors. It's very high contrasting, and I like that it just goes from like the pink to the yellow to the blue. It's just a good little, good little mix, I think at least. But do I want to add a yellow wing is the question. I think I might. I think I might. I'm going to take Jeffree Star's Queen Bee. This is the mini. I'm going to take that with a little angled brush and I'm going to draw a yellow wing with this liquid lipstick. His liquid lipsticks are eye safe. I don't necessarily recommend this with the average liquid lipstick. You need to make sure it's actually safe for your eyes. I'm going to have to go in with a pretty thick layer of this just because the yellow going on top of my blue eyeshadow is going to make it look green. So I'm going to have to go over quite a bit to make it just an opaque yellow. I actually don't think I'm going to do a full-on wing. I think I'm just going to kind of feather the yellow into the pink in the outer corner. I think that'll look cute. I'm starting to get my vibe, but I need to go over top of that with a yellow eyeshadow to really give it that impact. I'm just gonna take this little angled brush. I think this is from OMFG Cosmetics. I don't know for sure. And I'm gonna take that party on shade like we used in the beginning. This one's from the Obsessed palette. And I'm just going to start stamping that over top. And again, I'm gonna do a pretty heavy layer because I want this to look as just yellow as possible. actually going to take a break from that and dip into Yasabe's, if I'm saying that right, from the 80s baby, and go over that with this as well. It's a different tone of yellow, so I think it'll be more of what I'm thinking. Yes, that's perfect. When you're doing high contrasting colors like this, you just have to stay very patient. And then once I kind of get into this outer corner, I can start kind of feathering and smudging a little bit. I can kind of take my brush that I used with the pink to kind of smudge as well. Oh, I think this is so cute. I love this. I'm going to take my punch liner from ColourPop, of course. Bet you didn't see that coming. And I'm going to pop this in my waterline. Oh, I'm so happy with this. This look is so fun. This one might be my favorite so far. It's so cool. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye, throw all my lashes, something on my lips, put on my wig, all that good stuff, and we will finish up. That's it, this is the final look. What do you think? What do you think of the background that actually matches the look? <laughs> A lot better, right? I know this wig isn't technically the right shade of blue, I just don't have that color in a wig, but this is close enough with my beanie, with my yellow shirt trying my best. <laughs> the lashes are the same Rouge and Rogue Miss Fury lashes that I love. My lips is the Plushies Mad for Magenta from Lime Crime. I like this final look a lot. I think these colors look so bomb together. I feel like a... I don't know, I feel like a beach ball. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I really enjoyed this look. I hope I did this flag justice and I'm excited for more of the looks in the series. If you are enjoying this series, if you liked this look, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beauty and follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post at least five days a week, but it's usually six or seven. It's been seven like all month. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.